I want to talk about the Tampa Bay Vipers. They are the most frustrating team to watch in the entire XFL. So they lost 23-3 to to the New York Guardians. And uh, the way they lost was ridiculous. I was like, are you kidding me? What's happening here? They made it to the red zone four times. They had four opportunities to score, and they couldn't make any of them work. They couldn't finish drives and get points on the board. They lost 23-3. to It could have been, what's the math, 31-3 to if they'd gotten all the touchdowns they needed and gotten one extra point. I mean, they really could have been in this game if they just capitalized on the opportunities they were given. I mean, there were two drives where Aaron Murray, the quarterback, threw interceptions. That cost them the, you know, a, a drive in the red zone. And twice at the end of the game, the Vipers were stopped on fourth and goal. Twice. Two separate drives, fourth and goal, they couldn't score. And it was so frustrating because the Vipers were so much closer than the score would indicate. I mean, yeah, 23-3 to sounds like a horrible blowout. Except it wasn't a horrible blowout. The Vipers were moving the ball. They were in the game. They just couldn't capitalize and could not finish drives. And so, man, I don't know. Uh, the Vipers were frustrating for two reasons. Number one, yes, the missed opportunities were awful. The four opportunities to score were ridiculous. But number two, the quarterback situation was infuriating to watch for me watching this game. They started Aaron Murray at quarterback. Aaron Murray is a former Georgia quarterback. He's from the Tampa Bay area. He played high school football there. And so he's kind of like the, the assumed hometown hero, played at Georgia. He was not good. He was 16 for 34 passing at 231 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. I will say he wasn't, he wasn't good. He also wasn't terrible. Like, I think a lot of people are going to go, Aaron Murray. And I've even gotten messages from people saying, Aaron Murray is the worst quarterback yet. Yeah, yeah, probably Aaron Murray is the worst quarterback in the XFL that started last, this past weekend. But not everything that went wrong for the Vipers was on him. There were some dropped passes. There were some, op- some opportunities where people missed their assignments. It wasn't all Aaron Murray's fault that the Vipers really struggled. But Aaron Murray, first of all, his lack of mobility is a huge limiting factor for the Vipers. There were moments where he was unable to escape and unable to run or run around at void sack. It really cost him. There were also moments where he just bailed out of the pocket for no reason. It's like, dude, where are you going? Stay in the pocket. Why are you trying to run? You're not a running quarterback. You just look uncomfortable in the pocket. Aaron Murray really, really struggled. And he's not great at anything. There's not a single thing Aaron Murray does that he's great at. He's very fine at everything. He's got an average arm. He's a fine decision maker, not great. He can't run. He's just, he's got a very kind of a noodly weak arm. He's got, he's very average at everything. And to me, it feels like the Vipers need to embrace their backup quarterback, Quinton Flowers. For the love of everything good, please make a change at quarterback. The Vipers' backup quarterback, Quinton Flowers, is a dynamic, dynamic athlete. And I'm not sure why he wasn't playing more. It was very weird. Now, maybe. Maybe he doesn't know the playbook. That's very fair. Maybe he's a really lim- limited passer, and we just don't know how bad he is at throwing the football. But it is odd, though. I don't really understand why Quinton Flowers hasn't been more embraced in Tampa Bay. I do got to point out that the Houston Roughnecks had a choice. The Houston Roughnecks had a choice between a dynamic athlete at quarterback, P.J. Walker, or a more traditional pocket passer, Connor Cook. Houston chose the dynamic athlete. They went with P.J. Walker and was a, it was a gigantic success in Houston. Now, Tampa Bay took the opposite approach. Tampa Bay decided, you know what, we're going to go with Aaron Murray, the boring, safer quarterback. And I really got to wonder if politics have played a part in this decision. You know, maybe it was like, hey, it's week one. Everybody's going to assume that Aaron Murray is going to be the starter. He's from Tampa Bay. He's the hometown hero. He's the local kid. Everyone assumes he's going to be the starter. Maybe we got to play Aaron Murray. Let him do terrible. And then game two, we'll have finally an example to say, look, trust us. Aaron Murray isn't the answer. We got to go with the other quarterback. We're going to take a risk. We're going to shake things up and run a different kind of offense with Quinton Flowers. Maybe they just needed one game to show, hey, we've given you Aaron Murray. He wasn't very good. Now we're going to change things up and go with Quinton Flowers the rest of the way. I hope that's what they do. However, it's not clear that is what they're going to do. If it was me, if I was a person running the, the Tampa Bay Vipers, I would embrace Quinton Flowers. I'd say, hey, he's our guy. We're going to run the ball the quarterback position a lot. We're going to basically do what the Ravens did with Lamar Jackson. 
build an offense around Quinton Flowers. I'm not sure if they're going to do that, but that is what I would do if I was the person running the Tampa Bay Vipers. I got to say, I really liked what I saw. Quinton Flowers did play a little bit. He ran the ball five times for 34 yards. He also threw two passes. One of those two passes was a really good completion into tight man coverage down the left sideline. Great throw. Took him down to the goal line. Um, I'm pretty sure I speak for all Vipers fans when I say that I want to see Quinton Flowers as the quarterback in Tampa Bay. Now, maybe the head coach, Mark Trustman, uh, can fix things. Maybe he can salvage Aaron Murray. Maybe that's what he wants. I'm personally bored of Aaron Murray. He does nothing great. Average arm, average decision-making. He's got a very low ceiling as a quarterback. And so I want to watch Quinton Flowers. If it's me, please give us the quarterback we want to watch. Give us Quinton Flowers. Build an offense around him. That is what I want to see moving forward from the Tampa Vipers. Will they do that? I have no idea. But if it were me running the Vipers, I would say, you know what? Quinton Flowers is our quarterback. We're going to build around him and his ability to run the football and throw the ball. Similar to Lamar Jackson, let's build a game plan around Quinton Flowers' ability to run rather than have a stagnant offense that relies on Aaron Murray doing things that Aaron Murray really isn't great at. He's not a good enough quarterback to pick up our defense and play that style of football. Aaron Murray is a great backup in this league. He should not be a starter. He's in over his head. And if it were me... I would play Quinton Flowers next week and moving forward for the rest of the year if I was a Tampa Bay Vipers head coach, Mark Trestman. 